Welcome back to Sparks of Joy Studio. My name is Natalie and let's jump right into this weekend set of thrift flips. This first one I have is this red stool that I got for I think it was $1.50 and I'm going to start by painting it up with Champness by Fusion. After I finished the first coat, I actually decided to switch things up. So I'm now painting the top of this stool in cast iron by Fusion, and I'm going to be painting the base of it in Oyster by Dixie Bell. Once that was dry, I took this transfer. This is, I believe, from the Burkant transfer set by IOD, and I'm going to be transferring on this rooster and hen. it up and thought I was done there but as I looked at this the base of this stool I thought it needed something more so I actually went back in and I used some of the vintage textures stamps from IOD to finish up this base with a little bit more detail This next project is super easy, but probably one of my favorites today. I found this breadboard for, uh, it was $1.91, but I got it on sale at 25% off. So it was a $1.43. And I'm starting by taking off the uh, rope and the leather that was on the top of it. I did a quick sanding on the edges and then to um, sand off the back where that price was and I used some 220 grit sandpaper for that. Now I'm coming in with this gorgeous white flower from the Brocant transfer set by IOD and I cut it up so that I could position it the way I wanted to because my goal here is to have those leaves wrap around the board but to allow the bulk of this transfer to be on the front. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my arms give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day Shine in the day I'm 
gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back Sad words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can Now I'm going to come in and very, very lightly sand it on the sides just to allow that transfer to show that, that kind of what? distressed more vintage feel um, I didn't want it to look like it was a sticker that I just placed onto the board to seal this up I'm going to be using some clear wax by DIY and I'm just going to be rubbing it all on and I'm actually going to let it sit for about an hour to soak into the wood and then I'll come back and wipe off the excess. And here is a look at our finished project. For this next project, I have this wooden bin that I got for $3 from the thrift store. And I want to start by putting some feet on the base of it. Days without water along the sun so The next step is to paint the inside of our box with oakum by Fusion. Cross over borders, get where we are, and it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you. My mommy painted the bottom in this color, but then she changed her mind. I decided to mix Old 57 mint chip and just a dash of Monet's garden. All three of these paints are DIY paints and I get my DIY paints from Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs. The link to her store will be in the description box. You did it all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you. Once I finish painting that up, I'm just getting a quick sand around the sides, mostly along the edges, just where some extra paint would have, I guess, goofed up. And um, then I'm going to be sealing this up with Big Top by DIY. Now I'm 
going to use Bochum by Fusion to paint the feet of this box. And it's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. Now I'm taking various uh, parts of the seeds catalog transfers by IOD and I'm going to be placing them around the box in a very haphazard way. I want them to be able to almost look like the stickers that were placed on or these um, stamps that were placed on in random places around the box. So I'm going to have some of it curl underneath, some of it curl over the lip and into the box, and then I'm going to have a few of those transfers in the box themselves. It's all for you. One thing I do with each of these transfers, especially on these parts where you see the ridges that are designed into that wood, I'm actually digging my nails in a little bit to have it go into those crevices and it allows it to almost automatically get that distressed look, which I'm loving right now. Look at the finished project. I wanted to give you a little bit of a closer look at those transfers that are on the inside of the box. I think it looks so awesome how it goes right up the edge, um, up the side of the box on either side. I'm really happy with the way this project turned out. This next project is another stool. This one actually came from my house. I had it, it was all black. I painted the top white, but once again, I changed my mind. And so now I'm going in with Mint Chip by DIY, and I'm gonna paint the entire stool in this color. I did a light distressing around the sides and now I'm coming in with the vintage textures stamp and I'm going to be stamping the entire top of this stool. Sweet rain and honest truth is what I 
gonna take this adorable bunny from the Whispering Willow transfer set by IOD and I'm gonna be placing it um, on the bottom right of this stool. Don't leave already. Oh no, no. I'm not that steady. The last step, I'm going to be taking some of the letters from the letterpress stamp set by IOD and I'm going to be stamping Hopsy on the top of it. It is the name of my daughter's very favorite stuffy and I thought that was a perfect inspiration for this stool. And we don't pull them both. sealed it up with a Veristane sealer because I knew that this would be something that could get wet. And here is a look at the finished project. For our last project, I have this adorable little box. I guess it's like a jewelry box. I got it for half off of that price you see right there. So it was just under $2. And I'm gonna start by removing all of the parts that I can remove easily, and I'm gonna clean it up with some simple green. To remove these stickers that are at the bottom, I'm taking my heat gun and putting some heat on them to loosen them up, and then I'm gonna to try to pull them up. These stickers were very, very stuck on there, so I ended up having to use um, a scraping tool to scrape off the rest of that sticker. May you always find your way. I thrifted a bag of random little wood pieces and I found these four pieces that look like bowling pins and I'm going to be gluing them on upside down to create some legs and feet for this box. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Just the side of you when I'm at my weakest point makes a world of difference. Next, I'm creating a pink color with a Bayberry by Fusion and some chalk paint. This is folk art uh, chalk paint. I believe it's in sheepskin is the color. It's a creamy white color. Once I mix that up, I'm gonna be painting all of the box in that color, the inside and the outside, including the lid. I am not painting the feet in this color. Oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Ordering a cup of love, feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. You're the first thing in the morning and the last. Baby, you're my future and you are my past. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Boy Next, we're going to be doing some decoupage on that piece of wood that I, the slot that I pulled out from the um, box, the front of the box. 
I'm taking this beautiful spring piece by Roy Cycled. I will have the name of this uh, paper in the description box. I cannot remember if this is one of her retired designs. And what we're going to do is I'm going to try out a method that I saw on Kendra's channel, Late Night Creations, last week. She painted the, or she put the Mod Podge or the Decoupage um, glue onto her piece first, let it dry, and then did the iron-on method. And I wanted to try it. I've never tried it before. So here we go. Let's see how it works. I let that glue dry thoroughly and now I'm going to be taking the decoupage paper, laying it right where I want it, and then covering it with parchment paper before I iron it on. One thing that Kendra had said um, in her video was to make sure you hold the iron over the part for several seconds to ensure that that glue is heating up and adhering the decoupage paper. I did want to mention that Late Night Creations is teaming up with Making It My Own DIYs and Crafting Cousins to kick off her very first Fifth Sunday craft event, which will happen tomorrow. So make sure you check it out. It will be, I know it comes on at four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'm not exactly sure what she has listed on her channel as the time, um, but that's what time it comes on for me. And I'm very excited to see what the three different channels have prepared for us. Once I finished ironing on that decoupage paper, I am taking a very light grit sand paper and sanding down the sides to make it very nice and clean and on the edges. Put her in a cup of love, feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep. Now I'm going to be painting the feet of my little box in a white paint. I believe I'm using Simply White by Paint Couture. My heart and soul strong. I planned to use this rose knob on the top to have a handle or something to open and close the box but it was way too bulky, it looked awkward. So I really wanted to use it with this piece anyway, so I decided to get some Gorilla Glue and I'm gonna be gluing it in the top left corner of this box. I still needed to figure out a way to um, create a handle for the box so it could open and close. So I'm taking some hot glue and I'm taking a piece of this, it's, I guess it's thicker than twine or I guess like a little bit wider and flatter than twine. It's almost like a strip of burlap uh, that was made into a ribbon. And I'm gonna be using my scissors to kind of dig it into the hole so that it stays on and press it down very firmly because I want this to be strong enough to handle when people need to pull it up and um, and close it again. And here's a look at our finished project. I am very, very happy with this. This was a longer project, took a lot of different um, pieces and ideas and different I guess strategies but we got it to work and I'm it's I'm really loving it um, I hope you all have a wonderful day I have a lot of exciting things in store which I will share with you on Monday so please stay tuned for the next video I'll see you soon have a wonderful weekend and a happy Easter Dreamy, breezy, we go. Easy.